Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is another in my series of crafting with styrofoam. Today I'll be working with three medium sized spheres and some air dry clay. So let's get started. So I'll be using my silicone mold here and I've chosen these two designs. And before I use a clay, I like to dust them with a little bit of cornstarch with a brush. which helps the clay to come out easily. And then I have my clay here. I just roll it into a sliver. And with my fingers, I just press it into the mold here. to use my small roller here just to make sure it's nice and smooth and then I take my palette knife and just remove the excess put the mold over and if it doesn't immediately pop out by itself I just use a toothpick to help pry it out very gently we have our sphere here and if you look closely you can see the joint line right here. So my goal is to cover the joint lines with the clay. I prepared some of the designs ahead of time here. So I'm going to be using some wood glue. And applying it to the joint here. And place the pieces of clay onto it very gently. Position it and then gently push down and I want them touching. Now when as a clay dries it will shrink a little bit so there might be a gap here but we'll fill that if needed. So I want it butting up as closely as possible and then I'm going to just press down on the edges very gently so everything lays flat and then I'm going to just keep adding. So the clay has dried on the spheres. So next we're going to paint them. I've mixed up some paints here. I have a burgundy and to make the burgundy, I used a metallic tempera here. It's like a coral color. I added some red acrylic and some brown acrylic and a little hint of black just to darken it. For the copper, I have copper tempera metallic and to that I added some gold tempera metallic and some brown. It's important when you're working with temperas, add some regular acrylic as the temperas act more like a glaze than regular coverage. I also have some hunter green here and to do that, I use some green acrylic and I added some copper tempera metallic and a little bit of gold tempera metallic and some brown acrylic. I don't want to get any of the strong colored paints on top of these ornaments. So I'm going to just brush on some of my DIY soft wax. Check out my video on how I made that. And I'm going to just brush it onto the bottom part here. Just a very small amount, just so that any excess paint can be wiped away easily. So now I'm going to start painting the burgundy one. And I'm going to try to keep the strokes in one direction here. Okay, 
paint the edges. I'm going to use a flat brush here and go in on these areas here. Just take my blow dryer and dry it. I'm going to start off by edging the green one. So I'm going to paint this entire sphere copper, but first I'm going to do the bottom half and the ornaments. I've painted the top part of the sphere with one coat of copper paint and I've painted the clay ornaments with three coats to cover them completely. So the next step is to apply some of our pearl paint on the top layer of each of them. I have a large flat brush here and I'm going to just go in. And I'm going to sort of place the, the paint randomly here because I want a little bit of the copper underneath to show through. Mm -hmm. 